What is going on, everyone? We are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hello, Depraved. Yes, we are. We're back! Kind of. We are. So, after a long couple of stressful days... Still. That we still aren't out of the woods yet. She's right over there which by the door, which is why he's looking. Um, she's better, but not great. Yeah. But Progress. Did is basically all we can say yeah slow yeah progress uh but Sefi's feeling a little better she's able to breathe out of her nose for the first time in like three days well she's not drooling everywhere for the first time in three days that so too. that's yeah, yeah. um <clears throat> but yeah so we're if here you see gil losing his shit in the background he doesn't know what to do with himself because she was his play toy yeah well, he was hers. Same thing. No. Uh-uh. Not the same thing. But yeah, so we're super excited to check this out, though. This is... Um, we Scheme. We Scheme. Yeah. And his new album is going to be dropping soon. Pre-order that shit. Here's why I say to pre-order that shit. This man, every time he puts out an album and he plans it in advance... Did you scoot over at all? Because you were, like, way off to the side earlier. I did. Okay. Um, every time this man puts out an album, a major artist announces, after Schemes already said he's going to drop the album at a specific date, a major, a major artist announces... Their drop? Their drop. Of course. So for this one, when it drops, he's going to, he's going to be competing with... Um, I want to say it was Kendrick Lamar. And it'll be Kendrick Lamar's first album in like six, seven years. Right. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, homie. Well, and happy belated birthday to Mrs. Scheme. We did wish her a happy birthday on the day, but it did not sound like a happy day. No. So I'm hoping after the tire got exchanged, it got better. Yeah. But this is the first single off of Long Live Pop Punk, and I'm excited because Pop Punk is Dead is probably top two to three albums of Schemes for me so far. Yeah, so, for sure. I love the Pop Punk sound that he puts out. So, we're going to react to this. If you guys have already seen it, if not, click the link in the description below. Hop on over to all the things. Coming back to that commentary, reaction, breakdown, comedy channel. And what that means, we will pause for any and or all of the above. But that being said, it's time to slash down, break it down. This is We Scheme with Spotlights. All right. Let's get it. Can love it. I really like the sound of this a lot. There was a bit of a moment where it felt like the drums were a little too much for the beat at the very beginning, but it, it evened itself out. And yeah, I didn't catch that. I was I was wrapped up in the the sound. I was waiting for that drop to happen. It fits. It, it just took yeah. the drop. Um, oh, scheme, homie. Plus, this you know, like so the angles of the filming actually tie in quite well. But, you know, those eyes, man, when you're talking about demons. You did well. You did well. The ladies, my lights on. I get it. I'm not worth the drama. Don't want to. To show that I deserve a dance Just put out your arm, I'll hold you tight I'll do you no harm, I'll treat you right No, I'm lying I'm too broken to promise 
love when he sings yeah definitely i mean i i like when he raps too so saying that the singing version of scheme is my favorite version of scheme is a little bit like you know mm. there's a difference i like scheme when he sings i love scheme singing Okie dokie. Um, oh man, this is so good. But I do like the whole spotlights on Hook a lot. Like, I feel like even for somebody who's not an artist, it sort of resonates with like that, oh, empty mental space in terms of the hollowness that you can feel when no one's around. Um, you know, and I, I don't mean like, because I'm not an extrovert, so it's not somebody being around all the time, but, like, losing your friend circle or whatever because they it's, don't understand where you're coming from. Right. So, <clears throat> in that sense, it's it's like being like myself. I am kind of like an extroverted introvert. Like, I don't want to go out. You're an ambivert. Sure. I don't want to go out and do things. I don't want to be around people. But... When I am around people, I do like to be the center of attention. Right. Um, it's just getting me out. Right. Is the hard part. I don't know. I. And if you don't, if you're somebody that likes to be the center of attention, and you're not the center of attention when you're out with groups of people, you almost recluse yourself back even within that group and you're kind of always off to the side just watching as everybody's doing things. Right. And then you almost feel like, why the fuck am I here? That's my my constant state. Like, in my circle of friends, I am the spoke, like center. And that just is happenstance between how they, they all met and everything. Because one is actually an extrovert. But in the group, you know... Uh, when we're all out together, I'm I'm the one that keeps all the conversation and everything going. Um, <clears throat> but I was talking more of like a spotlights on in terms of like, oh, I don't know, brain's still on, but it's a hollow feeling, almost like the haunted house sort of metaphor that a pe people draw about their brain space and themselves because he's talking about his demons and everything and they're part of the reason that the circle of friends has never stayed around and so it's like you know it's showing all of those demons and everything but like it's like being where he is center stage spotlights are on but like nobody shows up so right. you know homie if you lived like two and a half hours closer <laughs> <laughs> They're not that. F they were like forty-five minutes, but was they it moved. Only 45 minutes? Yeah, it was like forty-five. That was a three-hour drive for us. No, oh. it's like forty-five minutes an hour. But again, yeah. I don't know where the move put them. But yeah, if you lived um, five minutes down the street, I'm I'm that level of introvert. If five minutes down the street, you'd see me every six months. I'm not going to lie. Like, you'd see him a lot more, but you'd see me every six months, unless you came over here and brought coffee. You know. Living on well. Spotlights on. Spotlights on. But the room is empty. Spotlights on. Spotlights on. When did they forget me? Spotlights on.
am fucking excited for this album. Friday the 13th, huh? Nicely done. 13 tracks nicely coming up Friday done. the 13th. He had this whole plan and Kendrick I Lamar did went and nicely fucked done. it up. Oh. Well, then we go, you know. But still, come on. That's <sighs> awesome. Um, Dude, that was I, fire. I really liked that a lot. That, it's it's that's my favorite pop punk song of year so far. It's sad, but it's not supposed to be happy. You know what I mean? Right. Like thinking about it, it's it's not a happy song. I mean, that's part of the oh dichotomy of pop punk that's kind of fun. It's always up music. Well, I mean, if you look at it, like. I know a lot of my favorite pop punk songs are the more sad ones. Like my favorite Blink One Eighty Two song is Adam's song. Well, and that song is so goddamn depressing. But that's what I was saying. Like pop punk in general is, you know, it has a rebellious attitude, sure, but a lot of it is not happy music. It just sounds happy. Right. Like you can mosh to it, but it's not particularly, you know, uplifting music. Right. Oh, my head it just all right guys so it was fire i am so glad i pre-ordered this album yeah definitely looking forward to it um oh and now now we have a record player that has uh bluetooth and mp3 one. capabilities a tape deck a cd player and an fm radio right all combined into the record player so right I mean, we're getting the CD, um, which I don't know if there was anything else other than the CD that came with it or to come out for this. But we um, now have a CD player. Well, the C- the CDs he puts out always has three songs on it that aren't on. Nice one. Yeah, streaming. We, we now have a CD player. So we now have a way to listen to it. So I mean, technically, I suppose we could have listened to it on my uh, uh, Walkman. I always forget you'd have that. Which I have had since I was like 13, 14. Still works. Right. Anti skip might be a little sketch, but you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that was actually really, really fucking good scheme. Yeah. Um, so much better than whatever that was that you gave us on uh, April Fool's Day. Oh, the coldest water, you mean? <laughs> I mean, like, that is what that was. It was, it was funny, but, like, yeah. It was For us uncultured heathens, not knowing about, you know. <laughs> um, now, super excited about this, so. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below, what did you think of We Scheme with Spotlights? Also, comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. I want to see him drive around town in a pink-purple truck. Lifted. Just saying. Um, yeah. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms. Mostly Twitter if you want a quicker response. We love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see you. To pray people later. That would be a banging dad mobile. <laughs>